Uh, I get the idea of creating a moral standard here and really judging, being willing to judge. It's the unvaccinated who are going to be hurt. So, so why should anyone who was boosted bother at this point? I don't want to reject those who still haven't done the right thing. I'll condemn them. I'll shame them. I'll blame them. But I don't want to exclude them. They've got to come around. We can't win this war. We're going to be talking about COVID this time next year if we don't get more people to do the right thing. So we can't write them off. Mm. We can penalize them more. We can say, you're going to pay more on your hospital bill if you weren't vaccinated. You can't get life insurance or disability insurance at affordable rates if you aren't vaccinated. Those companies should not treat us as equals in terms of what the financial burdens are that that disease imposes. So I can think of a number of ways in which we should say, Mm -hmm. here's the stick, get on board. Is the unvaccinated who aren't social distancing? Is the unvaccinated going to crowded indoor events there? And so there's this bizarre irony here that the ones who are behaving are being told to behave 10 times more so the fully vaccinated can continue as they were. For people who are not vaccinated, lockdown rules will apply to everyone 16 and above. If you are not fully vaxxed, stay home. You are at greater risk of catching COVID, becoming ill and needing hospital care. You may only leave home for three reasons. Medical treatment, including COVID testing or vaccination for essential goods and services like groceries, power tokens, medications, to provide care and support to a family member or person who cannot support themselves. Work is not a reason to leave the home for the unvaccinated. The chief health officer has also determined that restriction of movement is critical right now and that one hour of exercise for the next four days is not essential. When people are seeing uh, cancer treatments uh, and elective surgeries put off, Uh, because beds are filled with people who chose not to get vaccinated, they're frustrated. When people see that we're in uh, lockdowns or serious public health restrictions right now, because um, the risk posed to all of us by unvaccinated people, people get angry. In an interview with the French newspaper La Parisienne, he is quoted to have said, I'm not about pissing off the French people, but as for the non-vaccinated, I really want to piss them off, and we will continue to do this to the end. This is the strategy. The main item the French government are debating is a change that will see only the fully vaccinated and no longer those with a negative COVID test will qualify for the country's health pass from next month.